Hi, welcome everyone. We are going to discuss the 2021 November edX LIG CSC business paper, investigating large business paper. So this business paper is the most recent paper right now, like uh, 2020. People who prepare for the exam this time, it will be very important to follow these exams. Right, let's go to the case studies. Large business paper. Huawei. Huawei is a leading global provider of information and communication technology, infrastructure, and smart devices. In March 2011, over 1 million of its C8500 smartphones were sold in China following its launch. It now manufactures a wide variety of different products, including Huawei smartphones, watches, and tablets. In recent years, Huawei has won many awards. In 2018, it was named the 68th most valuable brand by the best global brands. In 2019, it introduced a smartphone which had new photographic technology. Okay, so there's a lot of information details are there. So I always recommend when you're reading a case study, please highlight the important information, which is the, the the serial number, the, the 1 million items they sold on C8500 smartphone in March 2011, uh, about their product portfolio, smartphone, watches, tablets, right? These are important. And also, it was named as the 68th most valuable brand by the best global brands in 2019. It is a smartphone which had a new photographic technology also, right? Let's go to MCQ. There are six MCQs there, as usual, like usual paper. Which one of the following is an advantage of primary market research? Primary market research advantage. Select one answer. It is a more up-to-date method of research. B, it is less time consuming than secondary research. It is cheaper than other types of market research. It is only done by market research agencies. So you can see primary research information. It can't, uh, they can, it's not the only done done by we can reject D easily because not primary research done by uh, any company also can do anyone can do right. It's cheaper than other types of market research wrong because it's expensive. It's less time consuming no. It's more time consuming than secondary. So it is more up to date. So that's the correct answer A. It is more up to date method of research. Okay. Second MCQ. Which one of the following is a financial objective? You know, objectives can be classified into financial and non-financial. Here, the answer, market share. Other things are non-financial, personal satisfaction, independence, control, non-financial. MCQ number three, based on calculations, show the selected in financial information of the pottery business. Number of ceramic bowls sold per day, 200. Price per bowl, 12 pounds. Variable cost per ball, three pounds. Fixed cost per day, 600 pounds. Question asking which one of the following is a total revenue for a day? Total revenue, you know, number of ceramic doll, balls per day, 200. 200 multiplied by 12. Price per doll, how much? <coughs> 12. Then let's multiply by 200 times 12, which is answer 2,400 pounds. Easy question, right? Total revenue, total revenue, the price into quantity. Price is 200, uh, price is 12, quantity is 200 for a day. They're giving per day. Okay, the answer is C, 2400. Which one of the following would be a disadvantage for a partner in a partnership? Disadvantage, they're asking. Sharing workload is advantage. Liability of all them is a disadvantage. Access to more capital. Is advantage sharing skills advantage. So answer is MCQ question number four. Disadvantage they're asking disadvantage of partnership. The answer is B liability for all debts. If you have liability for all debts, that would be the disadvantage because that's a normally disadvantage for a partner to take the liability, unlimited liability we call. Right. Next one is a calculation question. You can see the Huawei's brand value for 2018 was $7.6 billion. Huawei plans to increase its brand value by 14% in 2019. 
few the what's the brand in 2019 you have to just extrapolate this one 7.6 billion multiplied by 114 percent so 7.6 multiplied by 114 percent which is 8.664 correct answer is c 8.66 okay there are several methods you can do mathematically 7.6 times 14 percent and add them back to 7.6 again same answer for so straight away you can say 7.6 billion multiplied by 114 percent which is 8.66 billion last mcq which one of the following is a source of long-term finance there are answers a overdraft b sales revenue c trade credit d bank loan yeah correct answer is d bank loan because when bank loan uh, that can be arranged short term like like for fun less than money but this case now usually bank loans are long-term sources of finance right let's go to define questions the defined question of this case study, question number one part D, we define the term sole trader. You can see normally we can see sole traders, anyone who right, the business or an organization, sole trader, right? One one and only person, only one man shop runs the business, individual who runs the business. The correct definition of the market scheme, a business owned by owned exclusively by one person. The business owned exclusively by one person, say one. No need of application. A business on exclusively by one person. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Next part, part C, another definition question. Define the term demographics. Demographics. Demographics means, you know, usually the different strata, that is usually how we can divide the society, like religion, income, social, social class, ethnicity, like that. So it's called demographics. So demographic definition in the market scheme, you can see particular section of the population, particular section or segment of the population. Section of the population. So first time this kind of definition came, right? It's important, right? Question number one part D, state one reason why Huawei may use share capital as a source of finance. Usually, you have to use the application in this case, why they use one reason why Huawei may use share capital as a source of finance yes source of finance there are certain method internal external share capital comes under external source of finance you can see one reason like no need to replace a permanent source of capital therefore whoever can use that money to develop their new new products new forms application is important give some example based question but d i'll show you the market scheme whoever does not have to pay the funds back it can use the money to pay the salaries of the smartphone designers. That's a one answer. Another answer can be Huawei can use the money raised as it wishes, such as investing in new technology. Huawei can use the money raised as it wishes, such as investing in new technology. Or Huawei does not have to pay the funds back. It can use the money pay, right? So it can raise the money raised, which is investing in new technology, something. Application is vital in this case. Next one. Question number one, part E, a calculation. Calculate two decimal places, the operating profit margin for Huawei, you had to your work. So normally operating profit margin, gross profit margin, everything given in your formula sheet. So usually operating profit margin formula is operating profit over revenue into 100. Operating profit over revenue into 100, which is 73,287 divided by 721,202. Multiply by 100. So you can see the answer here. So this answer coming for two decimal points. Let's you can keep 10.16 percentage. 10.16 percent. So it's operating profit over revenue into 100, which is 10.16. Okay. But if explain one advantage for a business of use using sponsorship. Explain question is a A01, right? No application. Explain one advantage for a business of using sponsorship. So this is a PR. You can see normally public relations systems, right? Sponsorship is a one method, donation, press release, press conference. There are so many methods you can maintain the publicity or promotion of the business. Explain one advantage for a business of using sponsorship. You can get the wide publicity on this fund. For example, when you're introducing a 
some product like we are sponsoring from some national event for uh, say cricket or football or something then you can see the name will be appear everyone will be get some idea so as a result of the sponsorship your name the business brand will be visible all over the world or the particular area then as a result of that people will increase the confidence on business okay. as well as this sponsorship using given to model launches by sponsoring an event the business will gain publicity but now the event could be local national or global yeah, there are local events national events and global events and this would mean the business would cover a wide spectrum of people right wide spectrum of people another point you can see by sponsoring an event brand awareness will be increased and this could encourage followers of the event to consider by sponsoring an event brand awareness will be increased and this could encourage followers of the event to consider purchasing from the business and leading to increased revenue and profit right by sponsoring an event brand awareness will be you can increase yes of course one mark and this are, this could encourage the followers of the event to consider purchasing from the business and this will leads to increase the revenue of progress the blt system because leads to and therefore system in explaining stick to one point don't write multiple point if you write multiple point you can get only maximum one mark okay so the part g the six mark question the last question of the question of one analyze the benefit for huawei of locating its factories near to its labor sources proximity to labor is important right then only they can uh easily hire the people they can production also smoothly can function like production workers assembly line workers can easily access to the worker therefore location is important uh like in order to attract more labor into the business and moreover uh location is important to because they are producing production first is based on mainly labor intensive therefore location is really important to find the labor you can answer by locating factory in an area Yeah, there is a skill labor force it could reduce training cost the money saved could then be used for other purposes within huawei also huawei may need certain skills to operate manufacturing machinery for its products like smartphones if those skills are available the factory may become more productive and efficient in manufacturing smartphone i guess see by locating factory in area there is a skill labor force this could reduce in training cost and the money saved could then be used for other purposes within the huawei you can yeah training costs right uh, can reduce and also they can uh, easily attract people with certain skills like they become productive and efficient for the business organization okay so that's the end of the question number 1 let's quickly go to question number 2 large business you are doing 2021 november paper right large business paper paper 2 question number 2 Huawei is one of many businesses that manufacture smartphone and tablets. Right? It therefore need to keep and retain its staff so that production is continuous. This will help to maintain its customers. State one possible reason why Huawei pays its employees in the UK about the minimum wage. If you pay about the minimum wage only, you can have kind of like a good demand. Like in a lot of people, you can attract. They will retain in the business because they know. They take care of them very well. Then, if you pay above the minimum wage, people will motivate. Then they will be become, become more loyal, and retention rate would be higher. So productivity would be higher. They will be willing to work with the organization. It's a good question. Even the one marker, you have to write with the application. Look at the answers. Employees are more likely to stay with the Huawei. So, all the retention rate would be very high, and not move to a competitor such as Samsung or Apple, which can earn additional money. That's the thing because you want to keep, to keep to maintain retain the workers inside the business you have to you have to spend the pay the price, and secondly the employees are less likely to take time off. Employees are less likely to take time off from making smartphone, if they are paid well, and will stay more committed to the Huawei, stay committed more committed to business. Okay, so that's the answer for the question number two, right? part a question number two part b asking another state question state one possible reason why huawei would want to keep its customers loyal to its brand 
said one possible reason why who are we want to, to keep it customers loyal it normally you see like a phone like mobile phones usually customers are more loyal to one brand if you're using apple you always stick to apple if you are one's a samsung customer you are always samsung customer who are we also same so the one reason for this is a good question it's a new question one reason why they wanted to keep the loyalty because loyal customers will return to Huawei. Repeat purchase they will do. Then what happened? They need to upgrade their smartphone. They will come back to the business. And also Huawei wants its customers to return and purchase their other products such as its tablets also. That's the thing. So not only phones. They wanted to keep their customers maintenance and they want to sell the other products as well. Right. So question number two. But... C, explain question. Explain one reason why having a good public relation is important to a business. They mentioned about sponsorship also. Why, what is the importance of public relation in this case study? Public relation is, you know, as I told you, sponsorship, donation, press release, press conference. You can see the answer by business having a good public relations means it is likely to improve its brand image. You can improve your brand image. This could lead to increased sales and overall profitability of the organization. Yes, public relation is more important. You can increase your brand image and also it can lead to increase your sales revenue and also profitability. Three points are linking here. Linking to brand image already, which will lead to increase the sales. Therefore, profit, sales and profit. So always all three mark question, you can use this second sentence and the third sentence. If you something leads to increase sales, always lead to increase the profitability. Right, so like that. So brand image will increase in the high brand image, high sales, high sales mean high profit. That's the first three mark question in the question number two. Part D, uh, another three mark question coming in the second question. Explain one benefit of being a multinational business. Yes, being a multinational business, you can get more revenue, right? Large business organization all over the world, right? You can get the cheap labor, right? Government incentives, so many. So one benefit is from being a multinational, multinationals operate globally. So if the sales are low in one country, this can be offset by high sales in another country, thus hereby spreading the risk for the business. Okay, so multinational operate globally. So if the business sales are low in one country, you can be offset by high sales in another country, right? So you can, if one, one country sales is low means you can offset it by another account. That's the, like having a, like a diversified investment, like one investment is down, you can still survive from the other investment like that. Multinational is also same, they operate globally. So sales are low in one country, they can offset it by other country. Yes, they are by spreading the risk for the business. Right, it's pretty easy question, right? So multinationals, they ask for the three marker. Okay, another three marker. Explain one reason why secondary research would be used, in, used by a business. Yeah, market research questions can be come for a nine markers, three markers, six markers, but 12 mark also. Market research question, I see at the end of this paper, right? Explain one reason, second research would be used by, because it's cheaper, it's quick, right? It's, you can say sometimes the, it's done by the universities and know sometimes high credibility, right? Sometimes, you know, the high, like a, not, uh, the research is not biased. These things are there. So what is the advantage, one reason why the second research would important for a business organization. You can see the answer would be secondary research already exists and is available. This can save a business a great deal of time and effort in collecting such information. You can collect, like save a great deal of time when you are collecting information. The information can then be used to help the business to further develop its products or gain information on other businesses. Yeah, look at the three markers they have given. Second research is already exist and available. This can save business time and resources. Therefore, what happened, the business will be able to further develop its product and gain information on other business organizations, right? You can see the second research is an advantage because it's already exist and available. You can save more time of the business and therefore you can develop the this organization, okay, we are doing 2021, November, second paper. Now we are moving on to nine mark question. In every paper, there are two nine markers coming. So in one in question number two, and another one in question number three. Huawei use a range of motivational methods to ensure its employees remain with them and do not leave. 
it has to make a decision on which of the following two options will use. It is considering two methods, option one, financial, option two, non-financial. Justify which one of these two options whoever should choose. Okay, financial objectives are, you know, normally financials are usually salaries, increments, right? Profits related, pay, time rate, peace rate, these things. Financially, you can motivate someone by giving these things. Non-financial methods are usually whoever can use like, you know, job enrichment, job enlargement, job rotation, giving autonomy and power, uh, like that. So these are things. So it's the first time. Sometimes they, a lot of questions they're asking by giving two examples. Sometimes uh, once there was a question came, uh, they're using bonuses. Another one is a job enrichment. Bonus versus job. So bonus is a financial, job enrichment is a non-financial. This time, my dear students, you have more variety, like more chances are there to use because they are not stick to two, op two options. They're giving the family name, financial methods of motivation, as well as non-financial methods of motivation, which is we can use by the large business organization. Okay, let's see what are the marking scenes K. In these answers, you can see normal nine marker uh, application analysis and evaluation points we are divided in the mark was like a three, three, three. I guess option one, financial motivation by offering financial method to its employees such as bonus payment, peace rate, and employees will remain productive, right? With the expense, you can see with the examples you can explain. And this leads to look at the development, the analysis part for financial option one, employees are more likely to stay with the Huawei than go into other businesses. Is retaining, employee retention is will be very high. And however, with option one, however, employees may not be interested in bonus payments. However, employees may not be interested in bonus payment. If they are assembling tablets and they do not meet the uh, targets set, therefore not getting the additional wage. Right. So, however, the employees may not be interested in bonus payments if they are assembling tablets. Yeah. So that's the thing. And they do not meet the targets set, therefore, not getting the additional wage. Like that. So, uh, if they do not meet the target requirement, sometimes they don't get the bonus. Sometimes the bonus main objective is actually to increase the, uh, the sense of urgency of the worker to produce more. And then, then you can go to high production targets. Then, company also will achieve something organization, the uh, owner, the company, employee also will achieve something, right? Let's look at second option, non-financial methods, because the approach, if Huawei offers non-financial benefits such as job enrichment, employees are more likely to enjoy working at the Huawei and feel motivated, right? If they offer non-financial benefits such as job enrichment, employees are more likely to enjoy working at the Huawei and feel motivated. <clears throat> option two, you can see, Employees will gain new skills and feel valued by Huawei. Employees will gain new skills and feel valued by Huawei, which may help them gain promotion, such as becoming a supervisor of a group of staff assembling the tablets or watches. Yes, how they can give enrichment by giving them some promotion, like being a supervisor or something. Help them to get a promotion. So promotion also kind of the job enlargement, job enrichment becoming a supervisor or a team leader, a group of staff assembling tablets and watches like that. By giving these facilities for you, you can see there are three. Employees will gain new skills and feel valued by Huawei, which may help them to gain promotion, such as becoming a supervisor of a group of staff assembling tablets or watches. You can gain new skills and feel valued by the Huawei. However, you can see always uh, some employees are not cap cap like capable because they don't have the Proper capacity, some employees do not like to take additional responsibilities. You can see, however, not all employees are motivated by non financial methods of motivation, such as job enrichment, right? Not everyone motivated by this method. They may prefer to remain, in, remain producing smartphone and would prefer to have additional wages in their pay slips so that they can pay their bills. So, a lot of, a lot of employees they like to have a financial benefit than non financial. That is research finding, right? So this is the first nine marker, <clears throat> the question number two. Okay. okay, half of the paper done. So we are doing 2021 November paper, large business, question number three now. Another 20 marker question coming. Uh, question number three also there's a nine marker question, right? So they're starting with the defined question. Huawei constantly uh, has to introduce new products to make 
to market the to keep update with the competitors if it does not do this then there is a responsibility that other businesses will succeed where huawei will not okay define the term revenue so revenue we can say price into quantity or price multiplied by the quantity right the the amount of money you can generate by selling goods and services and revenue you can define in variety of forms so i can give the formula also so you will get the answer here the income from the sale of goods and services the income from the sale of goods and the services yeah you can write the formula also Question number three, part B, outline one reason why Huawei would use robotics in the production of its product. Robotics, a good question. First time, okay. robotics they are using. Technology in production, you can see, fast output, accurate output. One reason why they use, they won't have standardization. Look at the answer. Outline question, two sentences is important. Huawei could use robots to produce its smartphones because they are quicker and more accurate than employees. And robots do not need a break and can work 24 7 hours so they have given the two at one point and one development point to huawei these robots produce smartphones because they are quicker and more accurate than employees so robot do not need to break and can work 24 7 hours okay right as we are doing 2021 november paper question number three part c a calculation so the calculation in 2018 huawei took out a one year loan for 69 million, 69, this case is a billion, 69 billion, 69.9 billion renminbi, right? The Chinese currency, CNY, renminbi from the bank. So they have taken a one year, 69 billion yen loan, right? And the bank charged 4.5% 4, 4 interest on loan. It's pretty quite low interest rate, right? But it's a good loan also 69 billion means big amount in the china right calculate the interest who i would pay your advice or your easy question right 69 billion multiplied by 4.5 percent right simple interest method you're asking there are different interests you know the math, math students right so here the answer 69 billion multiplied by 4.5 percent you can see the answer 3 billion 147 million 345,000, right? Currency CNY. So this is a simple answer, 362 marks, but you have to use your calculator. Okay. okay the next question, part D, right? Analyze question coming. Analyze why Huawei offers its new, em new employees in the design department of the job training. This so of the job training we provide, you can see training happen outside the organization. So their training would not be disturbed from any other thing not distracted by any other thing to get the proper training. Uh, why Huawei offers new employees the design department of job training? So of job training is really important because the business organization, they are providing a proper training. training. You can see the answer here. This involves new employees bring train outside, being training outside Huawei at external college by tutors and other experts in modern technology such as smartphones and tablets. As a result, it means that the Huawei present employees concentrate on their work and do not have to supervise or train new employees. Right? Another point you can see employees can learn at their own pace the detail and requirement of producing smartphone and enable tab. Just of your training, you can learn in your own pace. There's no competition, right? No one's scolding you, right? There are professional instructors out there, right? And the employees do not have to worry about the making mistake because training means you have to make mistake a mistake only had to learn something right as a result of the data when employees do not worry about the mistakes this error that could cost huawei money but if it happen in actual factory yes mistakes doesn't matter it doesn't matter because you are if you're sending some kind of a default product a defective item for the customers the company can zoom right we are bad for the image of the company right you can see sometimes what happened in some organizations some brands Right, sometimes for an exploder, so many things. I'm not telling brands here, name of the brand you know already, right? Okay, <clears throat> question numbers that six mark is done. Okay, we're going into the nine mark question now. The second nine mark question of this paper, right? Second nine mark question of the 2021 November paper, right? What is the question here? 
who are we operate in a very competitive market for any new smartphone it has to decide which pricing strategy it will use for its next smartphone Huawei is considering two options for its next smartphone Huawei is considering two options what are the two options competition pricing and promotional price this is a repetition question you can see some the same question we have done in other recent past paper 2021 November paper the same question competition pricing means charging the <clears throat> similar prices like competitors that time they have I think asking uh, a different price strategy but promotional pricing was there what is promotional pricing charging or reducing the price for a particular period of time like three months and like short term you know to get the uh, sales so competition pricing means charging similar prices promotional pricing means you are charging a discounted price for a particular period of time to attract the customers so in this case they are going to identify smartphones they are going to introduce into the market uh, so a uh, next smartphone is they are considering two options i think which option is the best if i'm writing this option i'm selecting i would like to select uh, like uh, promotional pricing strategy competition also no problem they can you go with the other line in line with other competitors but something not practical right iphone price if you charge the huawei price definitely people will go to iphones right huawei sometimes people mindset they have some kind of like a little inferior value because it comes from the uh, uh some asian country and as a result of that you can see the, how this company actually they're using this strategy sometimes promotion would be better ideal like christmas discounts and all justify which one of these two we had a justification question you have to stick to one option and give the two positives and two negative available right but some students i have seen they have used the both option to write to analyze but you know make sure they're asking only just to one page to write you don't need to come back and trust right write two positives to negative of select option and do some kind of a conclusion part like at the end like how we were depend on this this option or create advantage and disadvantage like that so you can write something from the nine marker only one stick to one option that's my advice okay what is the nine marker <clears throat> answers given here if you go with option number one like uh, competition pricing if whoever uses this method of the pricing then it is likely to gain sales of the new smartphone because the price will be realistic realistic prices yes that's the same, same prices eh? same new uh, competitor prices this pricing strategy means that the consumers have more choice of smartphones as they are all priced at a similar rate however this does not always mean that the cost of production is covered with the huawei use this method it may lose out financially yes it may sometimes competition pricing it does not uh, guarantee that people would buy this at this competition pricing therefore you may lose out financially the goal align with the promotional pricing strategy guys you can see here uh, selling at a cheaper price encourage uh, customers switch from their present brand to the huawei right customers that they are changing from present brand to the huawei as a result of that huawei could gain a larger market share of smartphone users who change brands if you giving some low discount prices for a particular period of time they could gain a larger market share of smartphone users who change brands. However, promotional pricing may generate sales of the length of time of the promotion, like I said, only one month, two months, three months, four months. But once the price of smartphone reverts to normal prices, then what happened? May reduce the sales because people have some sense of, they're creating some sense of urgency by making prices down. But sometimes this can be lead, someone can say, Nelson can say, sometimes people have some inferior mindset because of this. They think yeah you discount mean eh? like you know like low prices mean low quality sometimes they're thinking like that way you can write right the, the answer is up to you right your design there is no this you need to or to memorize this answer and write the space. same answer no there is chance okay let's go to the last question of the 2021 november paper question number four we are discussing only three questions right including 12 marker okay here we go description whoever has to maintain the quality of its products to be able to compete with other businesses as well as generating profit it might also ensure that the product it produces meet the needs of its customers as well as introducing new different forms of technology on its website it says huawei are committed to bringing digital to every person home and organization for fully connected intelligent world right all right let's go to the calculation now 
can see they are giving some statement Huawei are committed to bringing digital to every person, home and organization for fully connected, intelligent world. In January 2019, Huawei launched the Huawei 10 Pro smartphone in the US at a cost of 5,353 RMB. Right? It was a, a nice smartphone, 10 Pro smartphone, the nice camera. The exchange rate was one US dollar equals 6.7 Chinese yuan, Chinese RMB. So one US dollar equal 6.7 Chinese RMB. So which means dollar is the strong currency, Chinese is a weak currency. They're asking calculate the cost of the smartphone in US dollars. You are advised to show your working. So in this case, there's cost of smartphone given at the Chinese currency. So you have to convert it to US currency. And the, the exchange rate also given, then what you have to do? You have to divide it, 5,353 RMB divided by 6.7, then you can get the answer in US dollar terms. Okay, can you see our calculator? Let's go to the market scheme. The answer would be here, 5353 divided by 6.7 equals $798.96. 798.96 US dollars. Give your answer to all these two decimal points. Right? Is US dollar 798.96? Okay, let's go to six mark question. Right. <clears throat> six marker. Analyze why Huawei would want to good quality control when producing its smartphone. Yes, from the production management side, yes, definitely. Mobile phone manufacturer, you should have a good quality control. Otherwise, what happened? The product will be got a defect, then brand recognition will be, brand value will go down, demand will go down, so many problems. Therefore, Huawei will have to maintain good quality control regarding their camera, the option should be worked, right? The mobile phone should be, the battery should be better. Right? So quality control is really important for the mobile phone. So do different methods, right? Analyze mean, in this case, analyze why. So it's not a mainly, they're asking, what are the benefits of quality control, not the drawback? Analyze why quality control is impact, right? So you can see the answer here. It flew up against a reputation for good quality product. <clears throat> More customers are likely to purchase its smartphones. It flew up against a reputation for good quality products more customers are likely to purchase its smartphones. If the standard is not maintained, you can analyze the point of that. The reputation, I talk about the first point is the reputation is improved. And as the standard is not maintained, then the customers may not trust the reliability of the smartphones and may change to other brands, yes. Right, if your quality is not good, then customers trust and reliability what happened, customer points will go down then the customer is losing the trust and reliability means what happened, the demand will go down and customers definitely go to change their mind to other brands. Because second point, to repair the faulty smartphones, to repair faulty smartphone or tablets could be expensive for Huawei. If customers have to wait for smartphones and tablets to be repaired, this would give Huawei a bad reputation, a bad reputation. Right. Okay, we are going to the last question now. You can see the six mark like that, right? So it's all about the reputation and the repair costs and everything. Let's see. The, I said all this, there's surprisingly uh, easy 12 mark is coming here. And last question of this paper. Evaluate why Huawei would carry out market research before designing a new product. Before designing a new product, you should use information provided as well as your own knowledge of business. Evaluate why Huawei need to carry out market research. Market research question was there also before. The three market questions, secondary research. Right? They're asking general market research. Here you have to define what is market research, you benefits of market researching for the Huawei. It doesn't matter, it's primary or secondary, general benefits and limitations of doing market research and conclusion also. So market research, you know, normally we define as a GAP, gathering, analyzing, and presenting. Okay? Market information to make decisions. So doing market research, always you can see the positive side. You can get some outlook of the customer. You can get some vision about the product, price, place, promotion, everything. You can find the gaps in the market, pricing in the market regarding to Huawei. 
you have to write always details regarding what. However, you can say some research methods are like a secondary research, primary research methods are uh, very expensive, time consuming. And you can talk about the secondary research methods, sometimes not reliable, not up to date. Talk about the limitations of the both methods and give the conclusion at the end, however, outweigh the market research benefits outweigh the uh, disadvantages of so market research is very important before launching a business. However, it depends on the budget of the marketing manager who are like that. You can give some kind of alternative viewpoint as well, right? They haven't given specifically what is secondary or primary research here. So they have freedom of writing anything in this case, right? Okay, let's go to the marketing scheme. You can see here market research, find out the, what customers need and wants are. Definition here, A1. Market research, find out what customers needs and wants are. By carrying out market research, Huawei will be able to make informed decisions uh, as to actions it should take, right? So by carrying out market research, Huawei will be able to make informed decisions, informed decisions as to actions it should take. They can take informed decisions. Look at the application parts here. If Huawei produces a watch, that very few customers want, then it could waste a great deal of money. Yes, if you're producing an item which only thousand people need, right? And you're spending billions of money, it's a waste of, right? That's not cost benefit. And this could have a negative effect on Huawei's financial situation. Look at the, the analysis part of the same point, right? This would have a negative uh, effect on the Huawei's financial situation and also impact upon the development of the other products such as uh, tablets and Huawei makes and sells. However, producing a watch that no other business is offering could mean that it sells more of the products and gains a competitive advantage. Gains a competitive advantage. Look at the second option, the second point here. By carrying out the market research, who are will be able to make informed decisions, right? And if you make the decisions, decide to add additional features, or reduce and increase the size of the smartphone or reduce the size of the number of you know the camera the charging the battery the quality the everything make decisions informed decisions you can take this from the comments made by the potential customers in the social media and this could help increase the sales of the tablets and smartphones and enable whoever to remain competitive or great look at the disadvantage of that however there is no guarantee that the market research carried out is uh, our earth file as customers' tastes and needs are changing constantly in the light of new technological development. Right. So you can see this is very important. Like as the level descriptors, we have always I, I wish all of you can write level three answer. Which means when we are marking your answers, we are judging your applic knowledge, application, analysis, evaluation, these assessment objective, what is your levels? Accordingly, it's very judgmental, but so we're giving your knowledge is level three, application is level three, analysis is level three, evaluation is level three. So altogether we can give 12 out of 12 or 11 out of 10. In between nine to 12 marks you can give if everything is perfect, right? So we talk about today, the 2021 November large business paper. The case study was Huawei, right? So uh, the, that's a large business paper available to the 21, right? If you want to place other all the papers, you can see that my, my YouTube channel, you can subscribe my channel, you can share this video with your friends, your colleagues, uh, and please subscribe my channel, you can comment your valuable comment is encouragement for me. Thank you very much. I'm um, keep posting these videos and also advanced little papers also uh, in future. So stay uh, in contact with me, stay in touch with me. So we'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Good luck in exams. Thank you and bye.